I want to talk about the oh-so-boring Oscars. The 90th Academy Awards that racked up the lowest ratings in the ceremony's history. And why was that? <coughs> because people were sick of being preached at by a bunch of posturing, hypocritical lobbies, virtue signalling and ramming their politics down our throats. People have had it up to here. Was rich, privileged celebs lecturing the rest of us on our carbon footprint while flying round the world in private jets or droning on about Trump's wall while living in gated mansions. Yeah. And then there's the Time's Up Me Too Brigade, who used the three hours, 48 tedious minutes of the Oscars and every other award ceremonies this year to score political points. These women really see themselves as radicals changing the world while protesting in dresses that cost an average person's annual salary. <laughs> it isn't always wrong for celebrities to use their fame to promote a cause, but these self-righteous political speeches have to stop. And if that means banning them, so be it. Yeah. The journalist Ella Whelan said this week that, quote, feminism is merely the latest must-have accessory. Well, it's time they put the accessory away, stopped with all the political speeches, and did what they do best, act. Yeah. Oh, Carol. You've spent most of your life, as I understand it, as a journalist on popular newspapers. Yeah. Popular newspapers survive by these sort of quotes from people in the... In, you know, from stars, from people who are around... From, they, they, that's what they survive on. That's what they're about. Not political no. statements from Not stars. Not political, but, about, but it's about taking notice of these people when probably you shouldn't take any notice of them. But they, I just want you to have a look at this clip to just show you how up themselves they are. I think we have um, a responsibility to speak up and, and, and talk about social injustice and change, and we have the platform to do it, certainly, because we are in the entertainment industry. I think this performance was extremely special because we got to honour, you know, amazing heroes like Nicole Hockley here and the work that they're doing, you know, fighting against gun violence, and, and, you know, um, feeding people in Puerto Rico, you know what I mean, fighting for equal justice. And so, for us, today, that was the real honour. OK, the first person was actress Alison Janey. Why, in God's <laughs> name, does she think that because she's in the entertainment... No, hang on. Why she's in the entertainment industry, she has a responsibility to speak out about it. And Andrea, in this Andrea Day, she says the honour was to, to honour somebody called Nick Hockley, who's fighting against gun violence and Good people starving in Puerto Rico. No, but hang on. No, her yeah. honour that night <laughs> was to actually yeah, Carol, sing at the Oscars. Something? That was her honour. <laughs> Yes, darling. And the reason <laughs> I was pointing to you during the intro, not because of the dress, is because I could feel your eyes. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> well, first of all, you are very vocal yes. about your views against this sort of stuff. Yes. So why are you more... Why, are you, why do you have more validity to express your views than them? At the end of the day, we live in a democracy, we live in a society that promotes Julie, freedom of speech. They're and the, No, but the point is... You're a oh, journalist. Yes, precisely. I'm a commentator. And, this is what I do. And let me, fin let me finish. And actually, let's not forget, you know, all of these celebrities, and not those two, but a lot of them I've worked with, Rachel, you've worked with a lot of them on campaigns. The fact is people listen to them. If somebody with 100 million Twitter well, followers less less. or 150 yes. million well, Instagram Nick's followers right, less actually less. says... N not necessarily. Well, well somebody... the viewing figures this year will tell you that. But half I'm not of talking about the Oscars. I'm no, no, talking think... about celebrities the... in general. But June, okay. I think the charity Nick. scandal means that they listen to them few, uh, far less than they, they used to. Look, actors are the following. Uh, they, don't even have, they don't even have. They don't even have the wit. To, someone else writes their words. Yep. Someone else tells them where to stand. <laughs> and someone else has, tells them to whom they should address their words. You're do they jealous. have a right though? You're do just they have jealous. A, do... You're just both of and you. Why do you jealous. have a right? You, you sit on the radio every day spouting out yeah, your you, views. You know why do you? No, but hang on a second. Why do you? No, she's right. I've worked my way up or down. No, actually, they're professional. Hold on. Do I? One second, then Greg. I will. You do I agree with Carol? I can't actually agree. There is too much of it. There is too much of this uh, uh, use of the um, uh, use of these awards, but to sort of and you and I don't like banning. I know that, and you don't like no. censoring. Should but it be taken? Should it be? Issue. Should it they have a quiet word? What? Can we tone it down? Yes, but stop it altogether. But I'd it's be rather the self righteousness no, of them that gets me. I mean, I was listening to a bunch of them on stage the other day, and, and there was three of them on stage, and, I, and I'm not allowed to name who people were, but anyway, they said. 
Our voices have carved a new path. No, oh, their voices please. have not carved a new path. I'll tell you who carved the new path, June, looking Ooh. at me with daggers. Yeah. The, people, the 13 unknown actresses who had everything to lose, who spoke to the New I Yorker, agree. they carved but, the path, but not the, the ones jumping on the bandwagon. But the actresses were able to amplify that message No, they jumped more. on a bandwagon because they saw Had they, they not, saw they it wouldn't working. have got the same attention. No way. Can I have Rachel? My... I mean, I partly agree. I think these endless award ceremonies that come around every five minutes are like Mogadon. Sorry, you're the you want, awards, are you? You're not elected, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you won't be attending yeah. that, love. That's I have slept I with not... judges to get you a nomination, <laughs> Rachel. You'd better I turn up. I will not be making a long speech when I lose again. <laughs> but I think that, Carol, you'd be equally disappointed if these celebrities did have a platform and actually failed to say something of any utility No, or I wouldn't be disappointed. I wouldn't. But, I mean, we've got to give credit where it's due. And let, me, let me just mention one, Amal Clooney. Love Who her. is married to George Clooney, who is using the fact that she's a beautiful barrister to try and get justice for the rape uh, victims of the, of the Yazidi genocide yeah. in the UN. Yeah. Now... Because she's Amal Clooney, she's getting a proper hearing. The, the, some of the victims have actually given speeches that have reduced the entire UN General Assembly to tears. Are you saying she's she different. shouldn't use no, no. her platform? She's entirely different. She's a, a barrister who works yes, she is, in but human a lot rights. Of them have other... It's entirely different. But being, but, but, you know, what, but being married why? to George Clooney, a famous has person, has given, her, the given her that platform, yeah. that international... But, but, but but also, surely, Carol, this is the year of the Weinstein scandal. Yes. Because of that, it was relevant at an award ceremony for the film industry. Yes. I mean, it really was. Okay, yeah. Now, I agree with you. If it goes on year oh, after no, year, no. we'll and all go to die and to boredom. But it's not point, all virtue no, Exactly. Thank you. You've done this brilliantly for me, Greg. I take you back 40 years to the year uh, when Paddy Chayefsky, an American screenwriter, and you'll appreciate more of his work a little bit later in the show, I warn you now, Paddy Chayefsky, screenwriter, at the Oscars of 1978. I would like to say, personal opinion of course, that I'm sick and tired of people exploiting the occasion of the Academy Awards. <laughs> for the propagation of their own personal political propaganda. Greg, that was 1978. That's yes. how long that's been going on. Well, it will come on. It will go on and on, won't they? And Not if you, Carol has a way. No, no, Carol's <laughs> right. At some stage, someone's going to say, look, we... Enough. It's too much of this. But it's the average speech Carol. used to be 30 words. It's now something like 180, but, unless but, you're Gary Oldman. He but, dribbled on but for if people don't, that, if people it. don't watch it and won't be part of it, <laughs> then they'll change it. But you yeah. mentioned Weinstein there. Isn't it funny that in the year that we, we know that Weinstein, the, the monster, has been exposed, the film... Piers Morgan said this, it made me laugh. The film that won the best picture was a film about a vile-looking monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this... I, falling in love with a mute woman. I mean, films that no one yes, wants to watch. This is one of those worthy... Anyway, that's... that's I didn't, that's think, that's no, I didn't Carol, think the monster was vile-looking in the show. But, Carol, but, but, but it will never be too much for, for all the women who have been harassed, for all the women who have been uh, abused, for them... They are very happy that somebody but is I think fighting they... their cause. So it's never going to be enough. We're never ever going to say But I think they've reduced and politics. So I think they've reduced politics to crying about all those poor women out there. This is this is a bunch of the richest, mm. most privileged women they've in the world. Politics, they think it? they think inequality is getting paid fifteen million dollars a movie when their male co-star gets twenty million dollars. They don't know what inequality means, and that's that's the sort of stuff they stand there, you know, oh, full I of think self. They do, Carol, the women who had to sleep with casting directors. Oh no, or no, no, there's another al thing. Allegedly, uh, you know, heads of studios in order to otherwise they didn't get the gig. Here's an, here's an interesting point. There's a, and you might scoff at it. Harvey Weinstein's lawyer is a guy called Ben Braffman. Now, you know, Weinstein's a Steve Ball, we know that, but he, he voiced what I think is quite an uncomfortable truth this week, and he said that... That was his truth. It, I think it's an Not uncomfortable... I, I, think, I think it is a truth. He says, beautiful young women in Hollywood and everywhere else wield the most enormous power. Uh, and he and he said that that women's campaign women's campaign groups don't acknowledge this. They only see victim and predator. And you know, and he he says, you know, if if a woman decides to sleep with a Hollywood producer to advance her career, what she has done is made a decision. Okay. I would just okay, to can do I just something make, horrible. Can I make one point, and then in, I'd in, like to add to in, your point. And just to add to that, which is, um, yeah, a woman obviously has agency and can decide what she wants to do, but. I think that we have to... I think what's come out of the whole Me Too movement is 
if the man has power in that relationship, Thank you. then it is not necessarily consensual in a way that we should approve. But the and woman has power with her beauty no, and her youth. No, 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 but let me finish. But also, while we are living under a system of patriarchy, the problem is that that woman's youth and beauty that you're talking about is often exploited would you, would and you abused. Admit that the so I wouldn't say. Would you admit, I wouldn't say that the woman has power. Because would you admit of that? that I would that women say that often exploit I would their say youth that and beauty. We live in a society that, for centuries, has only valued yes, that. Women's in currency. Well, would you admit yeah, that? Yeah, no, but that that to the would you admit that women Carol. exploit their youth no, and beauty? No, no. The problem is that you put it in those terms. Do you like to join in on this? No. <laughs> I thought you would not say a lot. I mean, you've just you've just proved my point. The yes, female currency yeah, for too long has been their youth, beauty, attractiveness, yeah. and I don't want to use a, a, a word on air, but use you know, it. nubile. Yes. You know, they yes. are of childbearing and age. Many and many you know women what I'm would saying. use that to their advantage. Don't deny because that women flirt, what? Rachel. That women fluff men's no. egos because they do it all the time. We're not denying that, but we're, we're saying you've it. got to look at why, and that's what needs to, to be get what they want. Anyway.